Well, I'm Artifacts of Mars. And the seditious uh, communist slime bags of Hollywood were out in full force at the Oscars. They turned it into basically a Trump bashing event rather than an awards event. I didn't watch it. I sure as hell wouldn't have. President is not watching an awards show according to Sean Spicer. I don't blame him. It only took a few minutes from Donald Trump bashing to begin at the 89th Academy Awards. I want to say thank you to President Trump. Remember the last year when it seemed like the Oscars were racist? That's gone thanks to him, said host Jimmy Kimmel in his monologue. Shame on you, Jimmy Kimmel. Political statements were expected on the evening as numerous celebrities have used award shows this season to express their concerns with and criticisms of the Trump administration. Kimmel pick, kicked off the show by saying, This broadcast is being watched by millions of Americans and around the world. 225 countries now hate us. And I think this is an amazing thing. He later encouraged the audience to reach across the aisle for one another in order to heal the country's current divisions. Unbelievable. Kimmel also nodded to Trump's overrated comment about Meryl Streep, who received a standing ovation. Standing ovation for what? Saying that Florence Foster Jenkins... Best Actress nominee has phoned in more than 50 times over the course of her lackluster career. Trump is allegedly not going to pay attention to the Oscars as he'll be <coughs> sorry, attending Governor's Ball, the White House Secretary, Press Secretary Sean Spicer said in said previously. In years past, Trump has hate-watched the show and tweeted about it. Kimmel joked that even if he didn't watch, Trump would still be likely to tweet about the show tomorrow during his 5 a.m. bowel movement. Well, such an eloquent scumbag you are, Kimmel. After the first award was handed out, Kimmel pretended to kick out any Reporters from CNN, New York Times, and the LA Times joke about several news outlets being denied entry into a White House press briefing last week. Well, it wasn't a bad idea, actually. I support Trump on that. If you're from CNN or the LA or New York Times, if you work for anything with the word Times in it, even the med Medieval Times, I would like to ask you to leave the building right now, okay? He said we have no tolerance for fake news. Fake tans we love, but not fake news. Mozart and Jungle star Gail Garcia Bernal also took a shot at Trump's Mexican Mexico border proposal while presenting for best anime and feature. As a Mexican, as a Latin American, and... As a migrant worker, as a human being, I'm against any form of wall that wants to separate us. Well, when Mexico controls our side of the border, then we won't have to have it. After about two hours in the show, Kimmel was worried because Trump had not tweeted about the show yet, so he tweeted at Trump's account. He posted, hey, you up? And Merrill says hi. Kimmel also delivered a dig at Trump over his recent unbothered mark about a major terrorist incident happening in Sweden. Lance, on behalf of us all, we're so sorry about what happened in Sweden last week, joked host of After La La Land, Swedish cinematographer Linus Sandgren's win. I have no idea what that La La Land thing is about. Absolutely have no idea. I keep hearing that and hearing that. 
you can come up with names of a hundred different Hollywood actors, and I've probably heard of ten of them. Some Republicans and Trump supporters said over social media they would not watch the show because they expect it to be nothing more than Trump bashing some using the hashtag no Oscars for me. Well, apparently that's all it was, was Trump bashing. I didn't watch it. You couldn't have paid me uh, to watch this, actually. I'm sick and tired of these seditious miscreants in Hollywood. Can't do anything about it. I wish we could boot them out of this country. Send them down to Mexico and they think it's so great down there. Send them down there. I'm basically disgusted by all this. But not surprised. These are seditious communists who hate this country as much as uh, Barack Obama hated it. And stood by Obama while he was dismantling everything decent in this country. So I'm not surprised. They all lose their jobs for mixing politics and acting, but apparently nobody's got the balls to say, okay, you're done. I mean, they had their vote at the ballot box, but they use their celebrity status to make their political statements, and that's wrong. I'm Artifacts of Mars, disgusted from New York. Thanks for watching.